welcome students today we are discuss the embedded system and we are covering the unit number 3 open source embedded development board and basically we are covering the arduino board student will be able to learn the following objective from this lecture what is arduino why we use the arduino the birth of arduino and functional block diagram of arduino what is arduino so arduino is a open source physical computing platform based on simple input output board and development environment that implement the processing language arduino can be used to develop stand alone interactive object or can be connected to the software on your computer why we use the arduino so arduino is having the some silent features inexpensive no need for external programmer license and compiler etc simple and clear programming environment cross platform is there so it works all the os window mac os and linux open source so software as well as hardware both are open source birth of arduino so the man behind the arduino board is mozimo benzi it developed the, this board in a 2005 okay and basically this board is developed for the students project and uh, the goal of that uh, man Uh, behind the to develop the this board is he is develop a user friendly programming language he decide to make the open source hardware as well as software that is it would be free for all users open source community so the community of the arduino board is also very vast so if you having the uh, facing the any problem regarding the hardware issue as well as software issue so you can put your problem in that community and the expert is give the immediately answer to you okay so the uh, why we use the arduino because of the the open source community is very vast so you can use that one then official arduino board so as shown in figure so you can uh, uh, easily available the market the following boards are there so arduino uno arduino mega arduino uh, nano mini okay and lots of boards are available over here and you can uh, also visit the its office official website www.arduino.cc and many you can also purchase the board as well as and you can also access that board now we are discuss the functional block diagram uh, arduino so as shown in figure so this is our digital input output pins okay so this is our digital input output pins total 13 digital output input pins are there okay and basically it this pin are used to read the our digital signals from the different sensors and it is also generate the okay a digital output and the cur current and voltage capability of the each pin is the voltage 5 volt and the current delivered by each pin is 40 milliampere this is our main controller okay and basically there are we are using the three uh, microcontroller over here 8 mega 8 8 mega 168 8, 8 mega 328 okay so 8 mega 328 means 32 kilobyte memory and 8 kilobyte cpu okay. on chip then q1 is a crystal so operating frequency is required to the microcontroller so basically the 16 megahertz crystal is used this switch s1 is used for the to reset the microcontroller okay so you can connect the computer through the usb port okay then this is the dc jack so with the help of the dc jack you can give the 9 volt or 12 volt input to the arduino board and you can also give the power through the usb port from the computer then power supply so there are 5 volt ground 9 volt as well as 3.3 volt is there okay our newer newer version uh, board so 9 volt is nothing but the sometime it is also called the v in pin so v in is a nothing but input is given to the dc jack so whatever the voltage is given to the dc jack is available at the v in pin okay then analog input pin so there are six analog pin is available in arduino board and each pin is having the resolution is 10 bit so you can interface the analog sensor in a each channel 
okay so there are six channel are available over here so this p chip is a aptd okay it is convert the our usb data into the ttl basically our microcontroller is support the ttl logic okay and we are interfacing the i mean computer with the usb port so whenever the computer is send the data in a usb protocol so it must be convert into the serial okay protocol so this chip is used to convert the our usb to ttl okay or we can say that usb to serial communication okay then this is the 5 volt regulator so whatever the input is given to the dc jack it is stepped down by the so this basically 7805 regulator are there so it convert the our 9 volt or 12 volt input into the 5 volt and that 5 volt is given to the microcontroller as well as our any peripheral device which is connected at the digital input output pins now another okay diode d1 so basically it is used to convert the our input into the dc and this this connector 6 pin is called the icsp connector so in circuit serial programming basically this pin is uh, uh, having the protocol okay i2c protocol and there are six pin miso mosi sck reset ground and vcc so this is our uh, official board available in market okay so this is the usb port okay and it is consists th so, okay 14 digital ios okay and each pin is having the 40 milliampere 5 volt reset pin okay icsp connector okay in circuit serial programming header 8 mega 328 microcontroller okay six analog okay io pins are there and each is having the 10 bit resolution okay then here is the this is a dc jack so with the help of the dc jack we give the input 9 volt or 12 volt okay and then this input is stepped down by the i mean it convert into the 5 volt with the help of the regulator ic seven okay lm7805 and that 5 volt is given to the peripheral device as well as microcontroller and then this is the another regulator it convert the our 5 volt into the 3.3 volt so the power pins are there v in ground 5 volt 3.3 so v in is nothing but the basically whatever the input is given to the our dc jack is available at v in 5 volt and 3.3 is converted by 3.3 volt regulator then in a digital pin the 0 and 1 so one serial port is available in our arduino board so our pin number 0 and 1 is also work as a serial port and you can also make the other pins also work as a serial port with the help of the software serial syntax okay so we are discussing later uh, when we do the programming that time then uh, this is the on chip led is there so basically it is connected with the pin number 13 okay the there are two led also are available for the transmit and receive so whenever you can uh, do the uh, i mean make the program for the serial communication so that time the transmitter led as well as receiver led are blinking simultaneously so this is our microcontroller 8 mega 328 basically it is 8 bit microcontroller so it is uh, perform the 8 bit operation at a time this is the okay our okay usb to serial ic so whatever the our data is uh, okay given to the from the computer is usb and microcontroller understand everything in ttl logic so we need the convert the usb to serial as well as serial to usb so this ic is used to convert the our data usb to serial now the function of the each pin of the arduino board so digital pins so first of all we already discuss uh, uh, total 14 digital io is there so the pin number 0 and 1 use as a serial port so 0 is work as a receiver and 1 is work as a transmitter okay and remaining pins are uh, work as a input output pins and 
six PWM pin is also there. Okay, so pin number pin number three, pin number five, pin number six, pin number nine, ten, and eleven. So total six PWM pin are there. All switch modulation with the help of this pin, we control the speed of motor. and analog pins so we okay, in arduino board there are six analog pin is there and each pin is having the 10 bit resolution okay and with the help of the syntax analog read you can read the okay, input from the sensors okay then power pins so v in so v in is a nothing but whatever the input is given to the adapter that voltage is available at the that pin okay then 5 volt the regulator power supply used to power the microcontroller and other components on board this can come either from the v in via on board regulator or may be supplied by the usb or another power uh, other another regulator 5 volt supply 3.3 so 3.3 volt is available okay and generated by the on board ftdi chip okay as well as on board regulator and the ground pins so it basically it is used to ground the our peripheral device other pins are there a reference pin so analog reference pin are used so analog reference pins basically use whenever you can convert your analog data into the digital data through the our analog channels okay that time you can set the resolution okay. so with the help of the analog reference syntax you can set the resolution then reset pin so basically the reset pin is used to reset the our microcontroller so this is a circuit diagram of our arduino board okay. so this is a serial port okay our regulator this is a power supply uh, circuit okay so whenever you can give the 9 volt so with the help of the 7805 it convert into the 5 volt this is icsp connector okay then this is a power socket v in 5 volt 3.3 volt etc and this different ports are there okay so we are uh, with the help of this port okay we can and uh, interface the our external sensors analog sensor as well as digital sensors with these pins this is a crystal circuit so 16 megahertz crystal are connected with the crystal 2 and crystal 1 and it generate the 16 megahertz signal now the silent features of the open source uh, okay integrated development software okay we can say that ide software so it is open source okay board then easy to installation built in sample program okay inbuilt various library are available usb connectivity is there all the arduino board supported and disadvantage there is no any debugging features are available in that software so this is the silent features of the our arduino software so this is a, a arduino ide software ide means integrated development environment and the language is used for this programming is basically c and c++ okay and uh, when we are write down the our program so it is call as a sketch in our arduino so the sketch is means program okay so see here here is the button bar is there so with the help help of that uh, help of this button you can compile your code you can upload your code okay and this is your menu bar file menu edit menu sketch tool menu is there and you can write down your code over here and this is status so whenever you can compile your code so it show the status over here whether it is compiled or not and suppose any error is generated over there so it's shown in a program notification area so how to design the first sketch so first step is download the our id software from the official website www.arduino.cc okay and you can install the that software norm, normally you can install the any software then second one is install software okay then you can step 3 open software and you can uh, 
okay see the screen as given below whenever you can open that uh, that software after the installation so you can see the like this screen okay so we can see that see that there are two functions are there void setup and void loop okay then step 4 is first of all you can go for the new okay so for in a file menu you can click the new new but tab button okay and uh, to generate the our new program okay and whenever you execute our program so you need the arduino board as well as connecting cables so basically usb cable is required okay to execute execute the our real time project then after the connect uh, your board with the okay through the usb so when you first of all you go for the tool menu and select the our board type okay, which board you can use because the lots of board are available and this software is support the many arduino board but whether you can use arduino uno okay mega mini whatever okay so whatever type of arduino board you can interface with the okay this software you can select first one so i am right now in my case i am using the arduino uno so that's why i am select over here okay second step is now write down your code okay so whatever the code so i am write down over here the led blinking code here so in a void setup so in a void setup function you can write down the such a way that it is repeated for only once so that function you can write down uh, in a void setup so it is execute for only once so here is we are using the pin mode so with the help of the pin mode syntax we decide the uh, our pin is whether it is work as a input or output so here is our our program is led blinking so the led is connected at the pin number 13 okay so so our arduino board is there okay and pin number 13 is there so we are connected the third led is over here okay so and we know that led is our output device so that's why we are write down here pin mode output okay so we make the pin number 13 as a output pin and in a void loop function okay so with the help of the digital write syntax okay so you can write down the digital write 13 comma high so whenever after the execution of this syntax your 13 pin is become high so the 5 volt is available over here so your led is is on and it is give the some delay so after the okay so your led is on for 1 second and after the 1 second digital write 13 comma low so the low signal is available at pin number 13 so your led is off for 1 second so this program is basically uh, make the led 1 second for on and 1 second for off okay then you can select the board type uh, which board you can interface with the your software then you can also after the connected your board then you can select the serial port okay the com port one is default port but uh, whenever you can connect the your arduino board so okay it is give the appro appropriate com port to the your arduino board so uh, arduino com port is different from system to system okay maybe com port 9 com port 10 com port 31 okay so it is assigned by the our uh, computer so it is maybe different then it is a status okay thank you